For more content like this, for more content like this, log on to GibboPresents.com. It's Gibbo, and right now I'm joined by a man who initially made his name as a producer before branching out and becoming an artist too. Here to talk about his new production, the Up for Reggae Rhythm, and much more, it is Shades, aka Silky Wonder. How are you? Give thanks, you know, blessed. There, you know. Give thanks unto the most high King Celestia. Ja Rastafari, you know. Give us strength. We give thanks for that. We give all do this thing, you know, isn't it? When you were young, your older sister purchased a Buju Banton CD. And I believe it was after hearing this that you decided you wanted to make reggae music. So let me start by asking which CD was it? And what drew you to Buju and his music? Why? I can't remember which Buju, Buju you know. It, I don't know. I think it was when Buju just had turned Rastafari. You know, I don't know King Shiloh. I don't know exactly, but when that CD came home, it was all Whitney Houston playing them time there and them thing there. So when Buju Bantan come home, it was like a change. Is it me? So hearing Buju Bantan, me I say, yo, who this? That voice is uh, mad. So listening from there, me get for us love Buju, get for us love music on a different world. You know, my mother always a sing, sister always a sing, but the Buju Bantan CD, I always remember it, you know, because that coming in, make a change from Christian music and souls and love music, you know. How long after hearing that CD was it when you began to experiment and produce your own music? Okay, um, after that, um, I, went, I went to a boarding school in Clarendon um, called Garvey Masio. And Garvey Masio really teach me about Rastafari because most of the Rastafari youths um, board at Garvey Masio. So at Garvey Masio now, I just get fair, start writing my own songs, you know, writing, beating decks, everybody go through that in a school, you know, but writing my own songs in my mind. So I always have a few tough lyrics in my mind, you know, just in case, you know, we, we need to sing a song. We have something. So from there, you know, we're there, there. I will just go on to the music. Um, during school days, I, I, I left from I left from Garvey Masio and went to Inzudai, that Spanish town where Teflon did so. I built him with him. So we and Teflon usually live together, but he, he, he moved to Spanish town before me. So when I moved to Spanish town, it's Teflon that I met the rhythm them, and me I write two songs. So from there, I think the production start um, from Not Zing Fence was called MOB, the Mob Records first, before Zing Fence. And from there, I, I use a little bit of artist, Teflon Bill Rhythm. And we just start a production thing from there on. So you said initially it was writing tracks that was the first thing that you began to do within the music industry. When was it that you actually produced a song for the first time? Okay, I, I, I produce where um, we did have some young artists, some of our bridging them. Um, like there was an artist now called Led. Um, uh, he was the first artist we, 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 we produced. So small students in, 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 the, in the era. We usually go and produce songs, but really didn't know how to get it to the wider public. Say so it was just recording a song and having it and know that we have that song. But the first song that really went out to the, the worldwide um, is Chronix Warrior. You know, so that was the first set of songs. Chronix was the first real production. We really had out there. And we did and we had um Kabaka and Protege Warrior. So those two songs was the first um real production out there. But we was doing really good thing and having really good CD for really good oneself, you know? 
Yeah. Taking into account your songwriting and your natural instincts and abilities, as you just explained, why did you decide not to voice a song yourself as an artist earlier on? Um, um, was a lack of confidence. I wasn't sure um, what to do at that time if I was a singer or a producer. Um, Chronix was the singer in the whole group. It was me, Chronix and Teflon. So um, at that time, I we were we wasn't even looking to sing. We were just looking to be producers. Chronix also. We went to everybody, every big artist with the songs them we hear now, behind curtain warrior that you hear Chronic sing. We went to all the top artists with these songs written with rhythms and said, you know, I wanted to sing this song though. And them said, no, them, we were too young. The song is not good. So Teflon tell Chronic say, te Teflon one day tell Chronic that, yo, Virgin, you see, we're going to these artists with the thing and this thing is great you can sing sing it then is it me so none of us start out as singers not even chronics you know everybody was producers so after a while we just start singing our own songs because of lack of people singing the persons who we wanted to sing didn't want to go on it you know so that build confidence over the time build confidence with me that lack of confidence that i had started to build watching chronics um starting this thing um going on tour with chronics for years um so it's just a confidence build and i did know some of it from a long time you know <laughs> yeah what did chronics say when he found out that you wanted to voice your own tune and become an artist yourself um, first, um, you know, you don't know, I, have, I told you already that I had songs in my head. So, um, Chronics in the studio one day, make a rhythm, him and Teflon finish make the rhythm, and as I tell you, we have vibes the rhythm. And them say, yo, Teflon, shades, drop something upon it. And I, Stason, drop a one track upon it, and that track, Chronics love the track so much, him Turn on Pro Tools and say, yo, we advise this chat. No, shit. And I, and I sing it. And I, I, I voice the tracks. He do a little pre-mix on it. And that was the starting. And him, that was the starting. him build me right there. So, so after a while, um, I, I think I wasn't on tour with Chronix. I, I, I stayed home. This is years after. I stayed home. And and uh, and and building the rhythms and song coming and I say yo you know one of my other voice to all them song you know, and hear it sound because I have so much time on my hand I have a studio in front of me so uh, I just uh, um I went to Isa because Isa was working at a different studio at the time so I went to Isa Isa was an engineer. Isa wasn't Isa was a singer and an engineer. So I went to Isa and I said, Isa, um Vice that tune you for me. That it was on Vibe Vibes Nation rhythm, cause Vibes Nation was Vibes Nation I was virgin the same way. So Vibes Nation rhythm my, my vice the tune Isa vice me. And from there I start going on at Isa and Vice 1 and 2 tune, I start to Vice myself. Then Isa start, me and Isa start living in the same place. So that me and Isa just start build rhythm and just make some, some, some songs. And these songs, what that was selected from the tons of songs that me and Isa have, was called Lords of the Land EP. You know what I mean? So, when me tell Chronics now, say listen them song and we will have pick up Chronics from airport and Kelisa, put in the CD, listen some tune, Chronics pick out some one we like, you know. He must say, yo, I like that one, I like that one, Kelisa love that one there. Everybody love them, them, everybody have them favorite. So, 
Yeah, say it was a good reception. Go out there, you must tell me, say, yo, do your thing, man, Silky Wonder. You know what I mean? Where a lot of people never believe in Silky Wonder, you know? Many artists begin to experiment, experiment sorry, with production after they've already established themselves as an artist. It's not as common that we see producers becoming artists. What are the advantages of doing things the way you have and in which ways does your production background benefit you as an artist? Yeah, um, not a lot of Jamaican producers are artists. And I find myself kind of setting, not, not setting a thing, bringing back a trend in Jamaica because the, no young youth them in the, young, in the new time, none of them never did have been an artist producer. When I, be, when I become a, 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 when I start seeing people laugh and say, yo, is what she is a do, him can't even sing because them expect some nice singing in Ascranics because we are coming from the CM. Um, group, you know, Zing Fence. So them expect some spectacular singing where um, Silky Wonder and have no, no, no big top voice. It's just the truth, you know what I mean? So, so me you now, as a, as, a, as, a, as a producer and an and a artist, I, the, the advantages of that is so great for me because I know to interpret the sound that I want straight from from the rhythm to the song, you know what I mean, and to the final product. Say nobody can say I. I really give thanks for this. Nobody can stop my music. Nobody can stop Silky Wonder music from going out there because I make my rhythm. I mix and master the rhythm. I write my track. I mix and master my track. I can do my own artwork. I am of uh, I can video and edit. I'm gone out there, you know. Where where at times I have problem with studio, it's problem with studio time, problem with people saying yo, your music is not so good. And I am saying, yo, giving thanks to Ja. There's no special way to give thanks to Ja. A sweet way or a bad way. It's just the same way. So, so being a producer. And, and, and an artist showing me that I can do it. There's no limitation. There's nobody stopping me. Nobody can tell me or interpret my music. I get the music from Ja, put it on CD and give it to you. You know what I mean? Why did you decide to use the name Silky Wonder for your work as an artist as opposed to just using the name people were familiar with and you had used as a producer Shades? Uh, okay. Um, I did. I, I didn't want to to just catch on on the fans that follow Zing fans. Um, because if I if I did use shares, this thing would be much bigger than Silky Wonder is. Because I would just take on the following of Zing fans of Chronics. I I I wanted to start something new. I wanted to start something fresh. Even now, people don't recognize that um, Shades and Silky Wonder is, is the same person. People don't know that. They think it's a different thing. I have different followers who follow Shades. Different followers follow Silky Wonder. So I really want to start that difference and that genuinity within my product. I don't want a man to rate me because he rate Zinc Fence and he rate Shades and he rate Teflon and he rate Chronics. You know, you're going to love. Me start off with zero followers. I start off with one followers. First, for, 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 um, Silky Wonder. So that is what I like. That is what I was trying to do. Something new. You hear something new, not a following. As we mentioned earlier on, you recently released the Upful Reggae Rhythm. Talk me through the process that you went through from start to finish building this rhythm and tell me how long it took to put together. Alright, um, this idea came up with me and Isa also sitting down and say, yo, we have so much rhythm, we sing over 100 songs together. 
So, let's just juggle one of the rhythm them. You know what I mean? So, we was choosing rhythm, choosing rhythm. It wasn't the right rhythm. Martima and, and Teflon came up here. That's Martima that sings. Came up here. And uh, Martima is a good rhythm builder. So, Martima and Teflon built the jump pattern of that track on computer and i and i did the rest of the arrangements like keyboard guitar together that was done by um tpi because it's like we record some tracks on tpi i say yo it never got you right because tpi is a good engineer him say certain things never right so tpi played over some of the some of the instruments Andrew Basie played the bass, Andrew play, Basie played the drum. So, but I had this rhythm for about eight months before TPI saw it. I was recording these artists one by one um, in my closet. Um, so, it, it is after I recorded all the artists, then TPI came and did a little adjustment to the sound. Um, it, it, it took me one year um, to, to finish this project, um, a lot of money spent, a lot of time in the studio. Um, yes, it took a while and it took a year and it was quite long and whole heap of work still, but we get there and it was fun with the artists them. I, I enjoy voicing each artist, you know what I mean? It, yeah. And how did you decide which artists you wanted to voice? Why? Um, I gave I gave the rhythm to to artists that I love. I I I think only a few of them <laughs> answered to that call. So who answered to the call? A voice. But any artist that I love, I would present that rhythm to them that day. So like Aki Becker forward, Midnight forward. Midnight never forward for Vice Band sh- um, Shades Rhythm. Midnight come for the Midnight in Kingston. So at the time he was staying here where I live because um, I was a part of Midnight in Kingston. The world bringing Aki Becker to Jamaica. So he was staying here. So I just put in the rhythm and this is the tune will come. Dre Island, him just come link me to, and I chill, and I smoke. We have a studio, play some rhythm. Say, yo, this is my next rhythm me I try to bring out, you know. Dre Island Vice, same way most of the artists go. Say, I think I really don't choose his Ja, really choose them. Because I never say, more Aki Beka, more this. The people them who I really choose, never, never Vice. They must never like the rhythm or something. You know? <laughs> You're holding a release party for the rhythm on August the 15th. I think you've got the flyer handy there. Tell people I mean, where oh. it will take place and who will be performing. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it there, the old mass camp. First thing, Jamaica it there. Yeah, Kingston, Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, um, the old mass camp. Right beside the big ATL motor place there and when them have the big porch and all heap of thing so old mass camp 1a oxford road this place is called the oxford shire ultra lounge um j island the wall works jabooks um silky wonder isa dexter malawi and we're going to release J Island um, video from the Upful Rhythm. Um, a long time people haven't seen Jabooks um, in Kingston. So this, um, I think we're going to have a big turnout for people seeing Jabooks. This great song is going to also be performing the the Upful Reggae Rhythm song also. So yeah, we did it. We'll come out the 15th. That is next week, Tuesday. Is it me? Oxford Road. 
and just have a hopeful reggae party. The first 50 people coming in, we're giving away a free CD. So, uh, yeah, nice vibes, you know. The rhythm was released through Black African Museum, which I understand yeah. is more than just a regular record label. Can you describe yes. it and uh, tell me what the goal is for the Black African Museum? All right. When people hear about Black African Museum, still, them feel like me done with Zing Fence. Zing Fence, remember to start this, the Zing Fence are uh, forever. It's not because them hear about Black African Museum, Zing Fence is forever. Black African Museum is for, is the preservation of black art. So this is not just Black African Studio. We are dealing with music alone. We also deal with um art pictures um just the while just the while we deal with poetic things with us with us it's just preserving black culture and not just music alone so that's why i call it black african museum um i really get that idea from an artist we have we have theme label we call black museum so I just put in the Black African Museum and preserving the black culture. Not not just music, you know? The wall, everything. Say, a man can link me with a poem. I will put a track over that and make that nice. A man, a man who is an editor can come link me. I will do a soundtrack with the edit and that will be nice. A person who takes pictures, a photographer, can come to us with a league of pictures, you know? And, and we will preserve that, put it in a place where it will be recognized and appreciated. And, and, and that is just Black African Museum. Right now, I, I, I'm downstairs. If you look downstairs, there's so much things from different artists that can be displayed where people need to see. The, the, the guitar, them, where some old people use. The, the mic where Chronix use, Chronix shirt where I wear, Chronix shoes, Chronix bag. You can see Teflon, Teflon piano. You can see all of that. So it's not just music, you know what I mean? Everything. So do you have plans to open an actual Black African Museum? Yes, that's right. With all of the real stuff, them, from from all artists you know from all artists i've ever met original music you know what i mean and uh, like i've have this idea you, you're going to hear music from when we're just making it you know what i mean say so, and then you hear the original and you don't hear all music change and you don't hear all voice change because some of the song has recorded like 10 years ago and people just hearing it now on chronic's project and these songs were recorded. Some of these songs on Chronic's project right on Chronic's album right now was released eight years was recorded eight years ago. So if a person could hear that recording and hear the recording now, that would be so great. And and his only zinc fans have that, and his we have that, and I think people should need to hear that. So it's just. It's just many things where people never see. People never see, oh, we stay in the room and make um, beats from we in high school, from we in a ball head, no locks, you know, in our room. We have those videos. These things can make a documentary. So we need editors, we need photographers to put this, and the Black African Museum can be that place where all of that can come together. Before we finish, is there anything else that you'd like to mention or anyone you want to big up? World world, yeah, man. Big up England. Big up Jamaica. Give thanks to Rastafari. Give thanks to King Celestia the first. Is he my Empress Men and who balance the throne? Righteousness cleaner. We give thanks to Teflon. Chronics. You know? Um Tadlati. Um, Gibo, we give thanks to Gibo too. We give thanks for David Radigan. You see me? All of England, because me and Isa Willpower get um, most played in England from the survey of jams in Jamaica. So, we'll, we'll big up England, big up the whole of our fans, them, everybody who love 
Seki Wanda, everybody who is tuning into these new artists, Ashkenaz, Isa, everybody. So, um, yeah, with us, I'm gonna say look out for more projects from Black African Museum, look out for Top Works from um, Teflon. Um, what, may I shoot every video for every artist from the Upful Reggae Rhythm? Say, I don't know, say, I have 10 videos to get from coming. Say, Dre Allen is just first, you have nine more to get. Um, Silky Wonder coming out with his album soon, already recorded. I record all of them already. So, it's just to put them together and make the world of it. Um, I'm doing a next project because I have so much song. I'm going to do a ne uh, I'm going to do about three albums this year, or maybe going into next year. I have a, I have a compilation album with whole heap of artists who, who, who collaborated with Seki Wanda. So I'm going to put out an album with mainly me as Seki Wanda, and a next album with compilation, all compilation. And then this next album for the streets. A lot of get a youth in the streets who is talented in Jamaica who don't have a chance, who don't have a studio, who don't have the money for go. I want, I want studio. But them tough, them bad, them better than enough artists where I get the highlight now. So I, 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 I sit down um, with Ja and say, all right, me have studio and I have the time. Me see me, um, ja bless me with all of that. So I, I selected some youths with a sim up on the road and say, Yo, shades, me have a song in it, bad you know. Can't do something for me, me I get a youth, my own great, do something for me, no man, walk one. Listen to the song, the song bad, bring them in at the top studio, record it. So I have that album that I don't to release with straight get a youths. Some of them may never hear before, some of them may hear, but trust me, the whole of them wicked, the whole of them tough. You see me? Yeah. So I left that alone. Come out of the party, the fifteenth. Enjoy the up full reggae thing there. And just look out for them project there. And just go and live and give thanks. The up full reggae rhythm is out right now. Be sure to download it legally if you haven't already. <laughs> and if you're in Kingston, make sure you check out the release party at the Oxfordshire on August the fifteenth. Silky Wonder, thanks a lot. Yeah man, give thanks, give up. Don't know the thing go. King Celestia the first. Don't miss another give up presents. You hear that? People out there. Bless up, give up. Give up presents. presents.